Welcome to the episode of Locked In. This video, I honestly, is not clickbait. I never thought I was gonna be baking this video, but here we are. This video is gonna be talking about why I am selling my custom-made steel all-road gravel bike build that you guys have seen on this channel. I made a really big video about it. I've ridden it for over 4,700 miles, but I think it might be time for a change. So if you wanna hear about that and why, please stay tuned. If you haven't seen my entire custom steel gravel bike build, which essentially, honestly, at this point now is an all-road build. I will link that in the description below as well as put a card above. I built that bike quite a few years ago and I've loved it, but gravel was very, very different at that time period. I built the bike around essentially a 35C tire because that's what I thought was all you really needed because I only really raced cross and did some mild gravel around where I lived at the time. And the bike was built around some older standards because some things weren't really kind of felt out yet in the market. And I've kind of changed as far as what style of riding I've been doing, if you guys have been following this channel. And so I think it's time for a change. And if you guys haven't heard already, I am technically a full-time YouTuber. This is my only source of income and it does not make enough right now to pay the bills. So I'm gonna have to do a part out for my Varco currently, but don't worry, it's for a good cause and I'll get to that later in the video. So if anybody's interested, I am going to be selling the ETAP group set off the bike. You can DM me on Instagram if you are interested. I'll have a link for my Instagram in the description below. I'm going to be parting out this bike, but if there is somebody out there who does want to purchase the cockpit frame set and ETAP group set, because this frame was designed around a wireless group set. So if I do sell the frame, which I was planning just to honestly hang on the wall, it is only built for basically a wireless group because there's only one hole in the frame to run your rear brake disc cable. So if you are interested in the frame set or the group set, please let me know. I will be selling the bars and seat posts, which are an Easton carbon variety. It's a 27.2 setback carbon seat post and a 42 width Easton E100 ultralight compact set of carbon bars. The ETAP group will be just the shifters and derailers and it is a Wi-Fi cage, so it will take up to a quoted 32 tooth cassette, but I've run a 36 on there since I bought it and I've had no issues doing that. I don't have a crank set or wheel set that are going to come with it, so you will not get a full complete bike. But if again, if you are interested, hit me up. The reason why I'm selling it is because me and Varco are going to start another build series and basically this is going to be the 2.0 version of that bike. He has come a long way as a frame builder, being able to do a lot of more innovative stuff as far as his frame building, which is going to open up a lot of options and cool things that I want to be able to add to my ultimate steel monster gravel bike build. And I know I've done a carbon monster gravel bike build, but essentially this is going to be a custom frame set with even more options and basically what I've learned from my Cobalt Warhawk and integrating that into a new steel version of my Varco. Now I do really want this to be mainly a gravel bike. As you guys have seen on this channel, I did just do a video on how to make your gravel bike basically a pseudo road bike or put it into road mode like I like to call it. And that is essentially what I do a lot on the Cobalt Warhawk currently. And it's honestly just enough road bike for me. I don't do a lot of road rides like I used to. So I just need a bike that's good enough essentially for road. And I have a great wheel set for it. And I've kind of figured out a great gear ratio and everything else to make that work very well for me. Now it isn't going to be the lightest or most nimble bike in the road setup compared to a traditional road bike. But again, it's good enough for me because I like that one bike to rule them all. I will be starting a live stream series with Varco and the first initial steps of us going over it because me and my buddy Mario, who you've seen on this channel, are essentially gonna be building a very similar bike together. And we really wanna try to innovate or do something that isn't, hasn't been done in the market with integrated bag mounts, other water bottle mounts on other areas, and possibly a more versatile frame set, especially in steel kind of fixing all of the flaws, let's call it, in all the frames and bikes that I've ridden and things that I've always wanted to do. Now I have more experience and now I think I can build the ultimate steel monster gravel bike build and I'll be taking you guys with on that journey. So here we are, it's 2020. I don't know when this process is exactly gonna start because again, I do need to sell some stuff to basically pay rent first and then start saving money for the build. I don't know where I wanna go with it. If I wanna go full ETAP access wireless or if I wanna go with a mechanical group set for cost and convenience working on the bike, as you've seen my Cobalt Warhawk bike build, an Apex group with the right component set honestly is just as light. So I may go that direction, but comment below on what you guys think I should do as far as group set. 
So I hope you like this video. Please make sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram again. Links are in the description below. DM me if you're interested in any parts or wanting to pick up this frame set as a whole. As well as if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to help support the channel because I am going to need it. As well as subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel, because I am trying to make this again a full-time YouTube thing, I do have a Patreon in the links below. I do have cool perks at the different tier levels for you guys as a thank you for supporting the channel. And thanks for watching another episode of Locked In.